All right, we've got a ball swinging around in a vertical circle with a constant speed of eight meters per second. Now that would be very hard to actually do in real life because as the ball gets lower, it should go faster because of conservation of energy. But let's just take the premise as it is. It's moving eight meters per second through the entire vertical circle. It has a mass of two kilograms and the string has a length of 1.2 meters and I'm trying to get the tension at the bottom of the path and at the top of the path. So let's look at the bottom. I have my two kilogram mass here. And at this moment, it's moving eight meters per second that way. And if I get force vectors in, I have gravity always pulling straight down. And mg is going to be uh, 2 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared, 19.6 newtons. And then I have the tension pulling toward the center of curvature. So tension in that string. And I know that I have to have a net force pointing to the center of curvature because that's the direction of my acceleration when something's moving on a circular path. So that tension must be bigger than mg. I didn't exactly draw it that way, but that doesn't change the math. So I write down Newton's second law, F net equals ma. And I'm going to use the upward direction as my positive direction, because that's the direction of the actual acceleration, and that just makes my life easier. So t is going to count as positive. That mg is going to count as negative. And then my acceleration is given by v squared over r in order to curve the path of this thing into a circle. So t is going to be mg plus mv squared over r. You could factor the m out first, but I already have a number on mg, so I'm just going to do it this way. And I get to three sig figs, 126 newtons tension. Okay, part b, get the tension in the string at the top of the path, so let's draw our ball up here. Two kilograms is the mass, and um, I've got gravity, of course, pulling straight down with a magnitude of 19.6 newtons. And I also have the tension pulling straight down. And the difference here is that tension and gravity are cooperating to add up to that centripetal force that causes my acceleration to the center of curvature. So if I write down F net equals MA, I'm going to use downward as the positive direction because that's the direction of the actual acceleration. And I have T plus mg is equal to mv squared over r. And so T is going to be mv squared over r minus mg. The tension doesn't have to be as big as it was before because gravity is is taking care of a lot of that centripetal force. Tension will just supply whatever leftover amount that it has to to cause the acceleration to the center of curvature. So I get 2 times 8 squared over 1.2 minus a 19.6. And now the tension is only 87.1 newtons.